Hello, I'm Rajiv Bhattacharya, Vice President of Software Engineering from Synaptix. What we are trying to show you here is our award-winning Astra Solutions. So this is it? This is the Astra Makina SL1680 platform. It runs a 2.1 gigahertz ARM processor and it has an eight tops NPU. In this demo up here, we are showing the whole cap capability of the SL1680 platform. It's running nine decodes and it has a camera enabled through which you can create a complete collage of solutions. It's a high performance. It is high performance and it runs eight tops NPU. We'll show you NPU, other platforms on NPU also. We will show you all those. What is the, uh, what is the core? The core is a A73 quad core ARM. It runs 2.1 gigahertz. Okay. And it has the uh, very powerful NPU. It has a eight tops NPU. Eight tops NPU. Is it the uh, ARM and? No, the NPU engine? is from VSI. <laughs> However, we created all toolings on top of NS, uh, VS, on, on top of the VSI core. We call it our Synap Astra Synap root tools. Using that tool, we can accelerate your existing models or an open source model and run it much faster, heterogeneously between multiple cores. You can run on the CPU, you can run on the GPU, or you can run on the NPU. And what's the GPU? The GPU on this one is an imagination GPU. All right, so you have the full heterogeneous acceleration? Yes. Fully accelerated, fully or can it be improved still? It can be improved, of course. You know, we can, but for now, this is fully accelerated between the three cores that we have. But new models, new operators keep coming. So we have to work towards that as well. And you can work with like 3D cameras? We can, we can. This is not a 3D camera. Ah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 This is a... So this is, this is from one of our partners. And this is actually used in airports for people counting. This is using oh. two cameras, two VS680 cameras. And these two cameras are running edge AI, privacy protected. On the edge, nothing goes to the cloud. And these are these two are actually <coughs> used to triangulate and calculate. So the Astra how is in there. People. Astra is in there. Nice. VS six eighty, SL one six eight zero is inside this. What's one. the power consumption? The power consumption on these it runs on various modes. We have you know from a very very low deep sleep mode all the way to the high mode. It goes around two two point five watts. Nice. And what else are you showing here? What is happening there? Okay, so this is a similar lower end platform. It is called SL1620. This one is running A53 quad core. Okay, so 1.1, 1.4 gigahertz kind of platform. And this is driving two displays. This is a MIPI DSI display, and this is an RGB display. Mind you, we are running, our software is all unified and integrated. So the same Linux software that runs here can actually be also run here. So if so you, it's, a, it's like a lower spec version of that It's chip? a lower spec version of that, yes. Now but you see, uh, and I'm showing you extended keyboard. You see, I can use, this is very simple, and you see how easy it is to, you know, drag and drop one platform, one, you know, window from one display to the other. I can take this one, it's a Linux terminal, and I can drag and drop this it's one. It's Linux. It's running, it's Yocto Linux. Yocto Linux here, Yocto Linux here, same Linux. How good is the Yocto Linux? Oh, it's fantastic for us, you know, and then it gives us open framework, open source, and that's what we are going to establish on our Astra GitHub. If you go to our Astra Machina, and if you use this QR code, then it will take you to our GitHub, and through our GitHub, you should be able to build, download, test, verify our Linux Yocto deliverables. So when people uh, buy into a platform, they want to have support for a very long time, maybe even forever. Yeah. Is it yeah. How, how long is the support? How good is it going to be? Uh, support is going to be fantastic. We have dealt with a lot of customers, you know, in, in the operator space, in the UCC space, and in the smart embedded space. You know, how we are going to extend it to do 10 years and all with an additional partner or not, that is still being thought about. All right. And all what right. else are you showing here? Okay, maybe I'll show you some things oh, on this side. They are all, uh, maybe I'll show it, you some yeah. demo here. Check this one out. 
ओके सो देर इज एस्ट्रा विद एस्ट्रा विद कैमरा ओके एस्ट्रा विद एन इंटीग्रेटेड एस एल कैमरा ओके ना वन आई एम ट्राइंग टू शो यू दिस इज रनिंग एंड्रॉइड टी वी Yeah. It's running Android TV. While it is running Android TV, I want to do some video analytics. So what what did I do? I pressed the button. It found on the screen how many human beings are there, and it did find that these are the actual human beings which are there. And this whole AI is running on the edge. Okay. Now what I can do is I can go to one of these and click on this, and it actually goes and runs the edge AI to for, for, to find out. whether that's a man or a woman what kind of dress is that person wearing so it see it found out that this person is actually a woman and it's wearing a <coughs> color tops and it try to find matching content on their website okay that's awesome yeah this is in line on device <coughs> on the edge video analytics offline completely offline nothing is going there all for this content we are sending this only this is loading from the website from the websites this one only the metadata color of the dress ladies dress pink color or a purple color download that that's all if you, you know what whether this is you or me or somebody that information is not going anywhere it's privacy protected on the edge you can run on open source models yes, yes you can what is so this in model? fact in fact oh this is one is their proprietary model that we are working on okay on we are in fact having a workshop tomorrow and that workshop will show astra processors that you can use to download an open source model use our synap toolkit to accelerate it run it heterogeneously on multiple platforms and use the best inference solutions on our platform you can you we'll have the workshop end to end on this astra platform we are going to do that tomorrow Is it going to be a good price to buy the the board? It's going to be a good price to buy the board. For now, it is at around two hundred and fifty dollars. It's going to be available in good quantity around June kind of time frame. We are building an interest list for this one, okay? But when we go to the next generation, when we do mass production, the price will likely come down. All right, and um, there's more. The most oh, there's a lot talk? more, lot more. This is our partner. You see, this is our partner from China. and what they are doing is they are running you see this vs680 vs680 is running a robot using a large language model okay so this is running some ai on the edge i can give a command to the robot to do something that ai is running on the edge the metadata of all that and the analysis of the large language is having in the back end that information is going the, the information is coming back to the robot and the robot is able to you know make certain actions for instance you can tell the robot hey this is the bottle can you pick up this bottle i don't want to do it because we are having some you know yeah. uh, internet connection issues here you can tell it connect uh, you know like like they are showing on the video that here is a bottle can you go and pick up that bottle and bring it to me at the sofa bring it to me at the sofa open the can and just give me the open the beer for and me take my it dirty laundry it. put it in the uh, washing machine i don't machine. know that part you know maybe the robot may not like that but right. the rest of it it will like it will be very happy to open a bottle for you all right cool all right this yeah. one so and then this is also from this, some the partner is uh, partner is scenery scenery yeah. yeah i'll edit right here okay this is another partner and same thing you see vs6 the uh, sl1680 astra platform is running once again here yeah. okay and this plat the, the this uh, partner of ours darwin they are using the same platform and on this they are running an application using which i'll show you what i will stand here and i be really still it is analyzing my picture and it is trying to there you see it's telling my heartbeat is 72 oh wow how is that how good is that just from looking through the camera so just by analyzing my facial features it is able to tell me that you know uh, my heart beat is around this kind of time wow yeah nice this is running image segmentation on the sr platform which is our low end platform okay m55 m code no a code here okay m55 this is running on u55 on the same platform on its is running an image segmentation we don't know if there are many other 
image segmentation AI algorithms that can run with this kind of, kind of power profile. Nice. So the Astra, how would you say, best of show, how would you say it's going to be uh, impacting the market? Oh, Astra is going to be, when you think AI, you think synaptics. When you think sense process connect, you think Astra. And that is how we are going to just flood the market with all our solutions. We have solutions on the high end, we have solutions on the low end, we have unified software, we have unified AI, all that is available. All right. Welcome to Synaptics and Embedded World 2024. My name is Andy Davis from Corporate Marketing here. Great to have you here today, Charbax. We're showing some of our latest technology. Here you'll see behind us Astra. We just won best in show for our Astra technology. Big last launch. Night. Huge launch. This is exactly what we've been trying to pull together for some time. The team has been working round the clock to bring Astra to market. The great thing about our Astra solution is this is a flexible solution that enables MPU, high-end MPU, right the way down to MCU, so we have the entire portfolio. But at the same point in time, what we've realized is that it's not just about the chip. It's about the capabilities that you bring around that. So Astra is an entire platform. We have the compute, which is the chips themselves. We've also paired this with adaptive AI framework. We have a toolkit for this that we've brought to market, which enables people to rapidly come our solutions um, and deliver solutions into the marketplace. We've also announced here at the show our Machina solution. Machina is our dev kit, which enables us to, let me take one of these, enables people to get up to speed very, very quickly. Now you'll see on the front of this, what, the, what we're also doing is we're highlighting the multimodal capabilities. So as a solution, we can bring to market audio, video, vision, and voice. Can we open it up? We can. So here it's unboxed, and what's inside? This is, in, this is the, the solution itself. This is the actual Mac and the board, the power supply, and the cable that goes with it. And if you look here, you can see the actual one really set up. So Machina comprises a base I.O. board with flexible compute modules that can actually fit in on top. So this upper module, this is actually our SL series we're announcing here at the show. Our SL series comes in three flavors, a 1620, an SL 1640, and an SL 1680. Different power and different performance points. You'll see here the solution also, if I turn this over, you'll see a little easier. We've also provided flexibility for an M.2 wireless connection. So not only can you flexibly connect whichever processor module you need, you can pair it with the precise wireless connectivity solution to go with it. Now, another thing that's very key to work out here is that a lot of dev kits may take you an hour or even longer to get up and running. What we've done is we've taken the Machina solution, we've pre-flashed the solution right onto it. So software out of the box, everything is ready to go, which means as a user, you can be up and running in minutes. So this completely changes the dynamics of being able to work out what you want and then get up on speed and running. And in fact, tomorrow, here live at the show, we're running a live training event where we're going to take people that have signed up to, to actually use this for the first time. Even we're announcing it just yesterday, they'll have their hands on it for the first time. And they'll be actually loading modules onto uh, AI modules onto the platform and being able to optimize and tune those right down onto the chip. So it'll show just how quickly people can get up and running. And uh, this, built on ARM? As you, as, you, as you noticed, yes, absolutely built on ARM. So our Astra solution sits on ARM. We're very proud to be partner with ARM on this. Fabulous opportunity. It's got some great ARM cores in there. Sorry? Has some great ARM cores in it, there. It does, and as we go through the demos, we'll explain that in a little bit more detail a little later. But let me focus on over here, if you come with I really want to talk about the pillars that prop up Astra, because it's not just the chip itself. The key you'll see here is the compute solution, that's the chips that we talked about, we're announcing here at the show, the SL series today. The adaptive AI framework is the toolkit and the capabilities that enable us to be truly open and cross-platform. Combine that with unified software, so I know you're, you have a big love for Android, Android and Linux, we have both supported. And you'll see Yocto Linux and Android working here at the show. That also combined then with a partner solution ecosystem. So we're enabling the marketplace to be able to build up and work with this very, very quickly. And of course, that's underpinned by our wireless technology, 
which people really rely on. One of the keys about Synaptics Wireless, it's probably the most reliable wireless connectivity solution that's on the market today. So, um, you were telling me before that this is kind of like Synaptics 3.0? Yes. What do so, you mean about that? So, so, if you go back in time, when Synaptics was started, most people knew us just for things like trackpads. Now, in actual fact, we've come a long way since then. If you look at, that was kind of Synaptics 1.0, Synaptics 2.0, we moved into mobile and mobile arenas and markets and things like that. So touch controllers, DDIC, and that market expanded for us. And you'll see we've continued that forwards into our automotive products today. So behind us here, we have our latest automotive and local dimming products. Um, and these are very set aside. You'll see our smart bridge solution here with local dimming. And this is giving you incredible contrast ratios, which is ideal for an infotainment system in the car. But as we move forward now, we're moving into IoT. And IoT is such an immense marketplace, but it has different demands and different requirements. Now, a thing a lot of people may not necessarily realize is that Synaptics, you may not see the brand in a lot of different areas, but in actual fact, almost every device that you come in contact with through your day is probably enabled by Synaptics. Let me give you a couple of examples. You wake up in the morning and you adjust your thermostat at home. That thermostat enabled by Synaptics. Someone comes and rings the doorbell, and it's a ring doorbell or something like this, enabled by Synaptics. You go out for a run, and you're wearing a Garmin watch, enabled by Synaptics. You get in your car, and as we've just seen from Automotive, enabled by Synaptics. You arrive at your office, your docking station technology, enabled by Synaptics. You log in with biometrics, enabled by Synaptics. Your trackpads, enabled by Synaptics. And so it goes on and on and on. But as we now move into IoT, the flexibility required for MPU and MCU demanded us to look at how we can drive that technology and build a, a complete platform offering. And that's what Astra is all about. So we just announced this last night. We already won best in show with this, which is fantastic. Against some very, very stiff competition, I may add. Um, but now we're showing Astra here to the world. We're launching it. We're, we're very pleased to be able to show you today. And I think what we should do is, is take some time and go through and let some of the experts that we have at the booth show you through their latest demo. So we made a bunch of years ago at, with DisplayLink you we were talking indeed. about. And that's part of Synaptics. DisplayLink was acquired some years ago by DisplayLink, by, by Synaptics. There's a number of acquisitions that we've made through this journey. To enable Synaptics 3.0? Exactly, exactly. So you know, as we want to expand into multiple different areas, we've looked at strategically where it's the right thing for us to build on that internally and where it's the right thing for us to make those acquisitions. And, and Satish Ganesan, who, who's our uh, CSO, has, has led the charge on making a lot of those acquisitions into the marketplace. 